discovered in Mongolia in the mid-60s and officially named in 1970, Deinocyrus mirificus remained a paleontological enigma for over 40 years. For many years, the only known remains of this dinosaur were a few fragments and a pair of enormous arms, measuring 2.4 meters long, some of the largest of any theropod, leading to its name, which means, wonderful terrible hands. Initially classified as a type of carnosaur, a broad and somewhat outdated group, paleontologists soon noticed similarities to ornithomimosaurs in the early 70s. Although some scientists proposed a link between Deinocyrus and the similarly large-armed Therizinosaurs, by the early 2000 years, it was generally accepted as an ornithomimosaur. Speculative reconstructions during this period reflected the uncertainty about Deinocyrus evolutionary relationships, with some depicting it as a giant Therizinosaur or Carnosaur, and others showing it as a larger version of Gallimimus. Many dinosaur books avoided illustrating the creature altogether, and a famous photo of Mongolian paleontologist Altandral Pearl standing between its enormous arms became iconic for emphasizing the sheer scale of this mysterious dinosaur. Efforts in the early 2000 years to locate more fossils at the original discovery site yielded only a few additional fragments, including belly ribs that bore bite marks from a Tarbosaurus. These findings led to speculation that the remains represented a dismembered carcass left behind by scavengers, with the rest of the skeleton potentially lost to time. However, between 2006 and 2009, international paleontologists unearthed two unusual partial skeletons in Mongolia, though the sites had been looted by fossil poachers, leaving parts like the skulls and feet missing. One specimen, though, had enough arm material remaining to confirm it was Deinocyrus. When the discovery was announced at a 2013 conference, it was a major surprise to the paleontological world, revealing Deinocyrus as a heavily built and bizarre ornithomimosaur with an unexpected humped sail back created by elongated neural spines. Things got even stranger. In 2011, a weird skull appeared in the private fossil trade in Europe, along with hand and foot bones that perfectly matched the missing pieces of one of the newly discovered Deinocyrus specimens. These fossils were acquired, donated to a Belgian museum, and later repatriated to Mongolia in 2014, completing the puzzle of this strange dinosaur with a fittingly unusual head. We now know that Deinocyrus lived around 70 million years ago during the late Cretaceous in what is today the Gobi Desert, which was then a river delta environment with streams, shallow lakes, and mudflats. It grew up to 11 to 12 meters long and had a long, narrow skull with a wide beak and deep lower jaw, more reminiscent of a hadrosaur than other ornithomimosaurs. Its small brain, by theropod standards, was proportionally similar to that of a sauropod. With weak jaw muscles, it likely fed on soft vegetation, perhaps aquatic plants, and was somewhat omnivorous, as evidenced by the discovery of fish remains in its stomach. The huge arms, which had been the most striking feature for decades, turned out to be one of the least unusual things about the animal. Though heavily muscled with large curved claws, they were proportionally smaller than those of other ornithomimosaurs. These arms may have been used to dig through mud or soft soil for food, or to pull vegetation closer. Despite being heavily pneumatized, meaning its skeleton was filled with air sacs to reduce weight, Deinocyrus was still a massive, bulky animal. Its relatively short legs suggested it wasn't a fast runner but instead moved slowly. Its feet were adapted for bearing significant weight, with blunt claws similar to those seen in hadrosaurs and tyrannosaurs. The sail back might have been used for display, and the tip of its tail had a structure resembling a pygostyle, indicating it may have had a feathered fan. The rest of its body was probably feathered as well, similar to other ornithomimosaurs, though perhaps more sparsely due to its massive size. <laughs>